in this video we will see how we have to construct CLR parsing table for that I'm taking an example the context free grammar with three protections the first protection is scans to CC here the two C's comes under non terminal C cans to small c capital C C cans to D so this is a given grammar for that we have to construct CLR parser table so what is the first step means the step number one we have to introduce we have to introduce a new production what is the new production means starting variable name dash cans to a starting variable so here the starting variable is s so s dash cans to s then write the remaining thing s cans to c c c cans to small c capital c c cans to d so uh, this is called as augmented grammar this is called as augmented grammar then we have to find out the second component here the production in the form of what a cans to alpha dot b beta okay so we have to find the second component for each and every production so how we have to find out the second component means here this is step 2 first we have to write a scans to a a scans to in the form of a scans to alpha dot b beta in the sense we have to add dot dot as a starting variable starting point of each and every production so a scans to dot s c sorry a scans to dot capital c c c scans to dot small c capital c c scans to dot d okay now we have to find out the second component what's the procedure of procedure for finding the second component means the first production the second component is always dollar first production second component is always dollar for the remaining how we have to calculate means we have to consider example if, if you want to find out second component of s means we have to consider s dash s dash okay s dash some value okay then if you want to find out the c second component means we have to consider the previous production of c what's the previous production of c yes okay in that we have to consider some component so how we have to find out the second component of s as well as c means here we are having a formula what is that means first of first of if the production in the form of a cans to alpha dot b beta comma a this is the first component this is the second component okay so if the production in the form of a cans to alpha dot b beta comma a means here the second component is first of beta union first of a first of beta first of beta union first of a okay here both beta as well as a having value means no problem okay suppose here the beta equal to epsilon and a value is dollar means we have to consider only dollar suppose if you are having some value in beta and a value is dollar means we have to ignore that dollar we have to consider only beta value that is the procedure okay i am repeat here beta equal to epsilon and a equal to dollar means we have to consider a that is a dollar value for this suppose beta equal to some value a equal to dollar means we have to consider only this so this is a procedure then come to here here we have to find out second component of yes okay so how we have to find second component s means we have to consider the previous statement of yes okay now we are finding second component of yes okay so s cans to dot c capital c capital c something okay then for that we have to consider s dash cans to dot s comma dollar okay here it is in the form of what means a cans to alpha dot b beta comma a okay so here what is b value b value equal to epsilon nothing 
then what is a value a equal to dollar okay so first of beta here what's the formula first of beta union first of a so right first of beta union first of a okay so here what is the value first of beta equal to what epsilon union a value equal to what dollar epsilon union dollar means what's output output equal to dollar so the second component of s equal to what dollar okay i write it here then also write it here okay then we have to find out the second component of c so for that we have to refer the previous statement yes previous statement or previous production yes okay so how we have to find out here we have to find out the second component of second component of c okay so what's the production c can to dot small c capital c is the first thing second production is what c can to dot d okay so we have to find out second component of both the production because both the production here the star variable is what c secants to dot small dot small c capital c secants to dot d so we have to find out second component of both the production okay for that we have to refer the previous production okay what's the previous production yes okay so consider yes can to what cap dot capital c c comma dollar okay so we have to apply the procedure a can to alpha dot b beta comma a here what is b beta value here beta value equal to c beta equal to c a equal to dollar write the formula first of beta union first of a okay what is the first of beta here the first of beta equal to first of capital c so we have to find the first of capital c union first of what is a value a equal to dollar so the value is what the output is what dollar okay here we have to find out first so here c is a non terminal we have to refer that non terminal that non terminal from augmented grammar okay so what's augmented grammar the first of uh, c c comes to what first of c equal to small c next second production c can to what small d so first of c is what c or d c or d is it value is what c or d okay here so the output is output is c or d we have to consider only these two because if you are having value in first of beta and a value is dollar means we have to ignore that dollar so we have to consider only this thing okay so the second component of c is what second component of c is c or d so write it here c or d c or d okay so that's all now now the closure set closure set i not is i not is what means c or d here we have to write c or d so this is called as i not this is called called as i not because initially initially we used this thing and next we found augmented grammar and next we found the second component after finding second component of the production is called as closure set i not okay then we have to apply go to operation for these things okay so the initial set is called as i not no so i not we are having s dash cans to dot s comma dollar s cans to dot capital c c comma dollar next c cans to small c capital c comma c or d capital c cans to dot d comma c or d okay so here we have to check after dot what all the symbols are they so that is the go to of i not so here we are having yes here we are having c here we are having small c and d so go to of i not r capital s capital c small c next small sorry, small c next small d okay then apply go to operation and check whether the output is same as i not or not if it is same means no problem otherwise we have to give new name okay so go to of 
I not comma capital S. So where we are having S? Here we are having S. So S dash can to. We have to go to in the sense we have to move the dot towards right side one position. So S dot. Okay. Then write the second component. After dot. After dot. If you are having any symbol means we have to check whether it is a terminal or non-terminal. Okay, if it is terminal means you just leave. Otherwise, if it is non-terminal means you have to refer that non-terminal productions from I not non-terminal productions from where I not. Okay, only you have to copy the first component. The second component value of that referred variable is same as same as the go to. The go to operation second component. Okay, this is the procedure. But here, yeah, here we are not having any non terminal after dot. Okay, we just leave. Then check whether uh, this is same as i not or not. This is i not. Okay, this is whether it's same as i not or not. It's not same. So give new name that is called as i one. Okay. Next, apply the second data or second data C. So go to of i not comma capital C. Okay, so here, ah, uh, where we are having C, here we are having C. Okay, so S scans to, then move dot operator towards right side one position. So C dot capital C comma, then second component is what dollar. Then after dot, what we are having here C. What is C? C is a non-terminal. So therefore, that non-terminal productions, non-terminal productions from I not. Okay, so what is the non-production? C scans to what? Dot small c capital C. You have to copy only first component, not second component. Okay. Next c can to dot d. Okay. What is second component? The second component is same as the referred production. What's the referred production? Yes. Yes. Production is what? It's dollar. Okay. Next we have to check whether is it same of i not or not or i one or not. Okay. Here it is not same as. I not as plus I one. Okay, so give new name that is called as I two. Already we apply go to of yes and C. Next we have to apply C comma D. Okay, so how we have to apply here go to of. I not comma small c where we are having c c cans to dot capital small c capital c comma c or d okay so c cans to c small c dot capital c comma c or d after dot we are having non terminal so refer that non terminal production from I not okay so what is that dot dot small c capital c c cans to dot d okay from I not then copy the second component from the referred one. Okay, C R D C R D. We have to compare. This thing is same as already available set or not. Already available set is what I not. It's not same. Okay. Ah uh, next I one. It's not same. Ah uh, next I two. It's not same. Okay. So it's a new. We have to give new name because in I two in I two the first component is ah uh, sorry. Not first component. Even here we are having S. Here we are having C. So it's not same. Okay. So give new name I three. Okay. I two I one. Okay. Now it's I three. We apply S C capital C. Next we have to apply D. Go to I not comma small D. Okay. Refer I not C cans to D dot. Here we are having dot D. Next we have to move dot right side. So it's one position, okay. So D dot comma C R D, okay. We have to check whether it's already available. No, I dot we are having four production. I one we are having one production, but that is with S dash. I two we are having a different set. I three we are having a different set, okay. And I four. So this is called as I four, okay. Now we apply. All all the values for I not okay. And next we have to check this. We have to check the next set. What's the next set? Next set is I one and I one. After that we are not having any value. So you just try no go tos for I not okay. Over. Next check. 
i2 whether the i2 has any value after dot or not okay so what are the values are there here after dot in i2 after dot what are the values are there means capital c small c small d so that is a go to of i2 okay so using that we have to using that we have to construct slr table okay so oh, next go, we have to write go to's of i2 sorry go to i1 this is not i not i1 go to of i2 or what capital c small c and small d okay so here what is i2 i2 s stands to what capital c dot small c okay so first apply this go to i2 comma capital c so what is answer s stands to c c dot comma dollar after dot we are not having any value so we can't add any value here okay next we have to compare whether the production is same as already available set i not i1 i2 i3 or i4 okay here we have to compare i not i1 i2 i3 i4 it's not same okay so we have to give new name for this that is called as i5 okay and next we have to apply go to of i2 comma small c i2 comma small c okay so what is i2 comma small c here what is c c cans to dot c capital c comma dollar so we have to apply go to of i2 comma small c means what's the answer c cans to c dot capital c comma dollar so c cans to small c dot capital c comma dollar we have to refer we have to refer the c variable what is c variable from i not in c variable data is c cans to c cans to dot small c capital c we have to copy only first component dot comma dot d comma okay what is second component the second component value is same as referred variable value okay dollar dollar okay so like that we have to calculate okay so like that we have to calculate go to's of all the set go to's of all the set until no more new set found okay now we have to compare whether the new production is same as already available set or not okay here i not is this it's not equivalent okay next i1 is this it's not equivalent next i2 is this okay here I'll start with s here we having say it's not equivalent okay and next we have to check with i3 okay here what's i3 i3 value is c cans to c dot capital c comma c r d here we are having what c cans to c dot capital c comma dollar okay here we are having c cans to dot small c capital c okay here the first component is same here the new set value the new, new set value the first component same as i3 but the second component differ here i3 we are having crd here we are having dollar okay the first component is same as i3 okay but even though the first component same here the second component differs so we have to give new name that is called as i6 that is called as i6 okay next we have to apply this is called as what i6 okay so initially we applied capital c next we applied small c next we have to apply small d for i2 okay so small d of i2 okay so we have to apply what is the next step go to of i2 comma small d what's the answer c cans to d dot comma dollar okay after dot we are not having any value okay we have to check whether c cans to d dot is already available or not okay uh, where it is available means here c cans to d dot 
is already available in I4 but in second component is C or D here the second component is dollar it's differ okay so we have to give new name that is called as I7 that's called as I7 okay uh, next now we apply go to values for I2 okay next we have to check go to solve the next set what's the next set I3 like that like that I2 we have to apply I3, I4, I5, I6 and I7 okay then the same process will continue until no more set okay then we have to construct parser table okay and in next video I will explain how we have to construct the parser table thank you